Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the Discord SRV plugin. To install and set up the plugin, head over to the plugins tab and type in Discord SRV with no spaces, hit the install button, and restart the server. Before we go into the config, let's create a Discord bot for the plugin to communicate with. Follow the link in the description and here create an app which we will turn into a bot later. Enter the name of what you want it to be called and scroll down a little. Select create bot user and that shall turn this app into a bot. Now that we've done this, reveal the token code and copy it so we can go and paste it into the config file. Find the config file under the Discord SRV plugin and paste it right here. Now that's done, let's set up a Discord server and make sure everything is correct. In the Discord server you must create at least two text channels, a channel for the chat and a channel for the console. As you can see I've already created mine. Another thing you have to do is go into your user settings, go into appearance and make sure you have the developer mode enabled. This will allow you to copy the text channel ID. You'll also need to create a bot role. I've created one which is just called bot and gave him admin rights. Make sure you enable the permissions that you want it to have. From here what we need to do is copy the text channel ID of where you want the chat to display and paste it into the config file here. Then do the same for the console channel and make sure you paste it into the correct area. You can also have multiple chats, not just the one. Just make sure you create a new text channel in your Discord and copy and paste the correct text channel ID into the config. Finally, let's invite the bot to the server. Copy your client ID from the previous page where you created the bot, follow the new link in the description and paste that client ID and authorize access for this bot. After that, the bot should be working, just restart your server and you're ready to go. If you want to change how the messages are displayed or any other option, you can do that in the config and message files. However, I will leave this as default. Now, let's test out the actual plugin in game. If you type something in Minecraft, like so, it will appear in the Discord channel, as you can see. We can do the same and type something from the Discord. And as you can see, it's written here in the game chat. Another thing I wanted to mention are the permission nodes, which can be found on the plugin page, link in the description, and a useful command which is slash Discord link. This will allow you to link your Discord account with your Minecraft account so that messages do not duplicate. And apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other questions, make sure to read the plugin page thoroughly. And if you have any more inquiries from us, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.